Did you know with Roberto Perez? All right, let's just take it a step further. If you want to know what the next hot spot is here in Dallas, because you know, the market's hot. Where are we going? Where are we building? What's Where's the land out there, right? I got a cool spot for you. Did you know that back in 1897, this town had something weird happen? So um, it's just a little bit northwest of Fort Worth, about 30 miles. The town of Aurora is like right off of 114. So that town in 1897, had a spaceship crash into a barn the the people that were there was probably approximately about four thousand people at that time they were all in shock april of 1897 several sightings of a cigar-shaped ufo are being reported all across the united states local newspapers from the west coast to the east coast are reporting the sightings but what happened on april 17th in aurora texas made the front pages in the early morning hours around 6 a.m the uh, citizens of Aurora heard a loud crash. They were awakened to find wreckage and debris from the explosion from what believed to be a air spaceship. This flying object reportedly crashed at Judge Proctor's farm, but what else did the townspeople find that morning? They found the remains of a body, which is believed to be not of this world. That brings us to the Aurora Cemetery. Surrounded by hundreds of tombstones, some 150 years old, sits a lonely rock in a wooden cross. It reads, Alien. They brought Ned, as we have named him, down to the Aurora Cemetery and gave him a proper Christian burial. So they buried this alien with Christian rites in the normal Christian cemetery. Can you believe that? The space alien was found, the spaceship was crashed, it says here that you know everything else was basically not able to be used because of the crash and the town just kind of had that hidden in its history and i don't think anyone knew about it 